Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one. So today we're going to get into Paul Clemente. Uh, they call him the 22-year-old virgin. Um, he was caught in a Long Beach thing. And I remember, like, this is in the 2000s where, like, where the 40-year-old virgin was, was this big thing. And I never really liked that movie. It wasn't very funny to me. I, I don't know. All of my friends were like, yeah, dude, and you should go and see it. And then even when it was out, on DVD and stuff. I just, I think the, I watched it once and uh, I don't know. It wasn't very funny to me, but that's probably where like the whole virgin thing came from. Is he was 40 year old virgin, 22 year old virgin, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, reading this chat log though, like I remember there was a guy in college that I used to know uh who was just like this guy, you know, this is socially awkward, really insecure, kind of like weird kid, you know what I mean? And just like, uh, was it Michael Siebert? I've seen people say that they feel bad for this guy, but guys don't feel bad for this guy. Like being an insecure kind of nerdy dude doesn't make it okay to try and like go diddle kids. You, you know what I'm saying? So like I was reading over this chat log and, there's a couple parts that that stick out, and and he says, uh, well, first of all, he starts with where you at, <laughs> so no hi, no I'm Paul or whatever, right? And then he says, um, <laughs> uh, like older guys and thirteen year old decoy, they actually don't say the name, but it's like, yeah, it's just don't tell me you're already doing the you know. And she says, huh? She goes, never mind. You're too you're too young to know. LOL. Yeah, okay. So you get it, huh? And she said, I've had boyfriends. And you did? Did what? W-H-U-T. There's lots of things we did. <laughs> and he goes, the horse ride kind of thing. <laughs> Like, 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 WTF? Like, what is he talking about? I mean, I mean, what? Who, who says that? You know? And then finally, he goes, uh, and, and this decoy props to him or her because you know she's just just messing with him at this point. The horse ride kind of thing, you know? It's just LOL, dude. Just say what you mean. You're confusing me. Uh. And he, he doesn't even want to say sex. He puts an asterisk. Uh, so, got it? <laughs> the decoy says, six? Socks? <laughs> and finally he goes, sex. You did? So, and then, so this is on uh, September 4th, 2006. And they start talking at 10.32 p.m. And then... He talks about how, like, um, you know, he lost some weight and all this other stuff. And and then by 1048, he goes, I, I love you. Right? And she's like, really? Now, guys, that, think about that much time hasn't passed. And he's just trying to groom this girl and be like, oh, I love you. And then he goes. The decoy goes, you're so sweet. And he says, thank you. You're so nice. Thanks. And uh, he, he says, you're so understanding. And she says, thank you. And he says, love you. And then she says, I love you too. And it's just like, really? I mean, it, it, some of the behavior, these guys, is just so... I don't even want to use the word pathetic but it's just like man what is wrong with these people people and then this is kind of you know the most famous part where he says so this is uh the same night this is at 11 oh six so this is how much later is this yeah it's like 40 minutes later right and he says you're making me horny and she says really he goes, I have a confession to make. Please don't be alarmed. And she says, K, he says, you're going to be my first. And she says, for real? 
And he he said, see, I knew you won't believe me. She said, LOL. It's cool. You sure? I'm shy now. Sorry. She says, I'm sure. And then I forgot my my 2000s and 90s emojis. Uh, so uh, I don't know what this, this means. He goes, love you. And she says, thank you. She didn't even say, I love you back. <laughs> but he says, does size matters to you? And she says, why? Are you fat or something? Now, I'm not sure if he meant like his penis size or his actual size. I'm not sure. And, uh, but she responds, why? Are you fat? <laughs> Just tell me yes or no. So, you know. And she says, no. And he says, I'm just chubby, not that fat. So you can see he has a lot of insecurities about himself. And guys, still, we're going to jump in, into this quick. I know that I've been going off on a tangent. But guys, really, get in the gym. You know, get your money game up, guys. Focus on yourself. Don't jump on the internet and troll for little girls if you're insecure. But let's just jump into this. We thought we'd seen and heard just about everything, but what we found there surprised even our own. Ah, the intro music. He's sitting in the car in the front. It's busy at our undercover house in Long Beach, California. Okay, he's getting out of the car. Just stay tight and we'll go to the front door. Wow. Man, Remember, we shirt, asked our man. previous suspect to go out the back way. I can't so use your off our next visit. too loud. Hi, how are you doing? Come on in. He's Paul Clemente, a 22 year old college Sorry, student from San Diego. Clemente spoke online with someone he thought was a 13 year old girl. At first, Clemente says she's too young, but soon asks her if she's had sex and what position she's used. Finally, he gets down to business. So when's the time I could come to your house? Of course, when your mom is not around. I'm asking when, so we can go out. Clemente asks if she's had sex in a hot tub. When the decoy answers yes, he writes back, You're making me horny. Jeez. For good measure, he sends along this picture of his penis. Uh, good job he tells her something that Paul. really surprises us. You're going to be my first. That's right. He may think she's 13, but he's the one who says he's a virgin. Now, the 22-year-old virgin is in the house. All right, can you pour me a drink really fast? Cause... Like, I want to know who writes these as zingers for Chris Hansen. Because even, it, it's not just the ones he says in, in the, to the Axel Preto, but it's the ones that he reads <laughs> in, the, in the narration, too. It's hilarious. I'll show you the phone. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to go get my hair ready. I'll be right back. Take your time. I'm excited, by the way. Me too. So you excited too? Outstanding. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys! I'm telling you, we should we should call this moment like the quickening from Highlander or whatever. <laughs> it gets me every time. And he's wearing a No Fear shirt, man. Like I remember when those shirts were everywhere. Like I told you guys, I was in college when the show was out. So like. You know, people go, oh, that's corny, but they were wearing, but a lot of this stuff was actually the style back then, you know? I'm sorry. What's wrong? I'm sorry. Please have a seat. I'm sorry. What were you doing here? <laughs> she said so excited to see me. She said she was excited to see you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you forget how tall Chris Hansen is, man. Okay, we're gonna sneak this guy back to the trailer. As we're having our conversation inside, outside, the Long Beach police decide this is a good time to sneak into the backyard and arrest our earlier visitor. First subject in custody. I didn't say anything bad, sir. You didn't say anything bad. If he says he didn't say anything bad, what about what he showed her? Like the pic... Can you... <laughs> It's so funny that they give them the pictures. It's like, dude, you want to talk about getting caught red-handed, man? <laughs> picture of his genitals. I want to show you something. So oh, please. You sent her that photograph. Can you so, see it? Through, that, can you see it through your shirt? Did you send that to her? Yes, sir. To somebody who said she was a thirteen-year-old girl. Oh, my God. Why did you so, think that please. that was an okay thing to do? 
sir. She said it's okay. But... She said it's okay. So because a 13-year-old girl says it's okay, you do it. Sir, please, I'm not... I'm not a really bad... You should sit down and drink some punch, man. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make you feel better. <laughs> Person, sir, As for that claim that he didn't say anything bad online, what about telling her he'll perform oral sex on her or asking if she's ever had anal sex? Dang. Have you ever had conversations like this with teenage girls on the internet before? No, this is my first time. Ah, uh, yeah, who believes that? First time. You know, I hear that a lot. <sighs> Can you imagine why I'm a little skeptical on that? Sir, please. Well, virtually everybody who walks in this house says the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm guessing that not everybody's telling the truth. And the thing is, like, I was on Reddit, and I was looking at this particular thread about this guy, and someone was like, oh, wow, he's in college in California, so, like, how hard is it for him to actually get laid? And it's like, there's a lot of dudes that really have difficulty but at the same time it's combined with a lack of awareness and that there's things that they could do to better themselves and actually like motivate themselves and put themselves out there you know so people <laughs> but then they also go oh well you know he was powerless to like better himself and that's why he did this so that's that's not a reason to justify this my point is that you know Guys, don't be this guy. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. And as we suspected, when Clemente first covered his face, he knows there are cameras in the house. Do you ever watch television? Yes, I know, sir. You know what? The show, sir. The show. Yes, sir. Have you seen the show on television? Yes, a couple of times. A couple of times. And you know what the show is called? Dateline. Dateline. And how big of a knucklehead do you have to be? To have seen this show and still go out and do something as dumb as this, as sick as this. You know what I mean? Like, it really, really boggles the mind. And I honestly think that that was one of the, one of the things that drew people to this show. Is not just... It was initially that, you know, these these types of guys can be you know, all races, colors, creeds, religions, but then they would know the risk because of the show and still go out and do it. Man. What? To catch a predator. Sir, I'm not a pretty predator, sir. But I'm just... You're not a real predator. No, sir. Just, just a pretend predator. No, I'm just curious, sir. A curious predator. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Oh, Chris. <laughs> I'm not a really predator, sir. So you saw those other shows we did. Yes. Then you probably know that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and, yes. and you know the story we're doing. Yes, sir. So. And it's funny that I've also seen where people talked about his accent and how, like, before he saw Chris Hansen, he was speaking regularly and then now he's speaking kind of like broken english or whatever i don't know if it's his change his accent as much as just panic you know what i mean and like him just being completely like a deer in the headlights you know so oh, if there's anything else you'd like to tell us we'd like to hear it if not you can walk out the door you came in yeah please i'm just i'm sorry and since he knows about our investigations he probably knows what I'm in the good old walk of shame. What to expect when he steps outside. Put your hands up. I'm not a criminal, sir. Put your fingers up. I'm not a criminal, sir. <laughs> I'm not a criminal, sir. sir. Clemente is arrested and charged with an attempted lewd act upon a child. He later pleaded not guilty. Both he and our earlier suspect, who is in the backyard, are led away to be processed. Hey, every... Now, I've seen... Or I've read the fact that they, um, the, the sentences f for this, this investigation were notoriously, like, light. You know what I mean? And I think it's because it was in California. Whereas, you guys look at the, all the, all the investigations either in the South or in, in the Midwest, and they're not playing games, you know? So this judge apparently said, oh, well, all these were all just lonely guys who made a mistake. And guys, that's not cool. You know, you know what I'm saying? There's no reason why a person like this should be walking ar around with just 
a slap on the wrist. And I also read that this guy actually moved to the Philippines so that he didn't have to be on the uh, on the offender list. So this guy is a, 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 a he's a piece of shit. Fuck him. And yeah, guys, <laughs> that's it for now. Yes, this is AJ. I'm out of here. See you in the next one.